So I call you 11 p.m. is because I just got home and guess what? Today my AP student took the exam three and one student, nobody got it right. No, zero. You mean one question, nobody got it right. That's, that's right. Question number three. Now I'm going to give you the question number three and let's see who can solve it faster. So this is VT. This is uh, one. This is two. This is negative one. This is negative two. This is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. So far so good? Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm gonna draw the graph. I'm gonna put a dot over here and I'm gonna read the graph. Okay, so far so good. And at two comma two, so this is two comma two. This is two comma two. Okay, so you see the graph, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So now, at t is equal to zero, the object is at origin. Is that right? Uh huh. Okay. Now I'm going to give you four options. Number one. What would be the next time the object gonna be back to origin? One second. Number two, two second. Number three, four second. Number four, uh, zero to one second. Number five, one to two second. Number six, three to four second. I'm confident that the answer is five, one to two seconds. Uh, okay. Wait, uh, wait, 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 Shiba. Yeah. Okay. I, Isaac chose that. Uh, F, what about you? Um, <coughs> let me see. So one F of... Oh, uh, do you see my, my thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. So <clears throat> the, the area of the small one is one F B H, okay. So that's going to be one half of one times one. So one half, okay. So <clears throat> one half of one times one half. You can make it. Simple. No, no, Isaac, you don't, no. you don't need to talk. It's, um, okay. Right. You just relax and because I'm going to ask you to prove it, by the way. Yeah, well. No, hold on, I can... no talk, no talk. Yes. Okay, I think is um, two seconds. Uh, two seconds. Two seconds, okay. Does he <laughs> know? It's two seconds. The correct answer is five, one to two seconds. Wait, what? Now go prove it. Okay, so. Uh, sure. First draw it, first draw the graph so you don't have to look at each other. It's very serious. The less I have to look at ref's face, the better. Uh, it's a very simple graph, so you can. Once you have the graph, then I'm going to remove myself. Uh, one, two, three, four. Wait, I still have to draw the actual line. Give me a moment. You have to, otherwise you're not going to get it right. The answer, the answer okay. is... No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got that. I got that. Don't spoil things, please. Okay, then it goes still from two to three. Let me draw that. Oh, you don't need to draw that part, Shiva. Why? <laughs> I know I don't technically need it to solve the problem, but it's nice. Okay, there. Okay, I can remove myself, right? Yes. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Right big so people see it. Mm -hmm. No, Raf, why, why, you don't have to look at the anything. Okay. Wait, I just have to check so if I, okay, yeah. I have
Dad, what was the question? When does it return to the origin? Yeah. After zero, at t equal to zero, it was at origin. When was the, when was the next time it was origin again? And it's going to be between one, two, one and two, but uh, exactly what time? Yeah, uh, first I'm going to demonstrate how I figured out that it's five, and then I'm going to show what the time exactly is. Sure. Oh, this marker is going to go. Oh, uh, 1.5, at 1.5 seconds. No, it's not right. Wow, great job, genius. You got it wrong. Really? Okay. So I'm just going to explain it real quick out loud. As you can see here, the area on this part is negative 0.5. The area on this part is 1, which means that, well, negative 0.5 and positive 1 means that it's had minus 0.5 area here and 0.5 distance here, which means somewhere in the middle it had to hit 0. But where exactly is the question? So how do we solve that? Well, unlike what Ref said, because Ref's stupid, what we have to do is find the similar triangle with exactly half the area. Now, if you cut the triangle this way, you will find that it's actually one-fourth the area because that's how two-dimensional states work, mm -hmm. and Ref is just stupid. Instead, <laughs> what you need to do is scale it down by, instead of one-half, one over the square root of two. So when this whole thing is one, we want to make the smaller side one over the square root of two, which means that the actual time of crossing is one plus one over the square root of two, which is approximately 1.70 seconds. That's correct. So I'm going to show my way, right? You mm -hmm. see me, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah. Let's find the area over here. What is the area over here? Area is half a BH. Mm -hmm. So area is half, B is how much? B is one. Half. H is? Wait, oh, B is half. Okay, H is, H is one. Negative one. Right, am I right? Yes. Yeah. The okay. total displacement is one fourth. So is Negative, negative one fourth. Is, what is it? Is negative one, one fourth. One fourth. Mm -hmm. And then if I add this one, then what happened? This one I multiply it by two. Uh, it's two. the same thing. So area is a negative point five. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. That means that the total displacement at t equals one is minus point five. One second. Mm. One second. This mm. is negative point five, right? No. Uh -huh. Okay. Now let's do the other one. The other mm -hmm. one is. Okay, so now area is, it happens, he said one to two, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's yeah. what he said. So we're going to say half BH. So area is half, what is B? T minus what? Uh, come on, Raf, mm -hmm. you can figure this out. It's two minus one. T minus one, right. And then? Two minus one. And then two, and then height is two, T minus one, right? What? No, right, right. Um, I mean, this is this is base. You have is to... Raph like doing right now? No, no. Uh, well, yeah, I guess in this case it works. Okay, sure. so area is half <laughs> t minus one, and then what? Two t minus two. So area is half two uh, t squared. Minus 2t, minus Why not t. just plug in t equals 2? I'm going to do that now. No, so but the, that's making it complicated. You can just plug in t equals 2 at the beginning when it's still t minus 1. Okay. Uh, do you see that? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Area, is, area is what? t squared minus 2t plus, t plus... 2t plus 1? Plus 1. Plus one. So, so, so... So what does that mean? That means t minus t t minus one is square, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> t minus one is square plus what? 0.5, right? Negative Wait, Dad, now we don't see your writing. It's outside of the okay, yeah. Right? 
T minus one is squared is equal to 0.5. Okay. So well, how both, complicated are we gonna make this? It's square root both sides. So t minus one is equal to point twenty-five. Not point twenty-five. I am going to oh point seven. That's the think. square root of one half, ref. Oh, point, point seven. Point seven. Point seven oh seven. Yeah. Point seven. So t is equal to one point seven. Oh, I see, I see. Wow. This, uh, but I, I like uh, I like Isaac way better. I, I thought this is nasty. Well, oh, sure. Okay. But let you me... You can I, also simple. I mean, you did a few unnecessary steps there just to simplify it in the end when at the beginning you could have said half t minus 1, 2 t minus 1. T minus one squared, and then immediately skip to the end of what you were doing. No, no, no. You did, going... you did it in two steps. Okay. 